सो हाई एवरी वन सो टूडे आई विल डिस्कस वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन दैट इज द क्वेश्चन इज सो डिटेक्ट द टू एस कम्प्लीमेंट यूजिंग एफ एस एम एंड ऑल्सो डिजाइन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द फ्लिप फ्लॉप दैट इज द डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप ओके सो आई थिंक यू ऑलरेडी नो द कम्प्लीमेंट एक्चुअली इन द सो इन द मेमोरी द फॉर द रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो फॉर द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द नेगेटिव नंबर सो दे आर द two thing is there okay sign magnitude representation sign magnitude representation and the actually for the representation of the negative number not memory actually in the memory we represent uh, the any num uh, uh, the negative number with the help of the ts complement okay so uh, i am telling the representation of, of, of for negative number we use the the two thing the complement form uh, complement form and the sign magnitude representation okay so the complement form is the two type that is the one s complement and the two s complement okay so in just brief i am telling how can we calculate the two s complement actually with the help of them i will write the fsm okay suppose i took i, I take the example of 6 so firstly for the negative number we use the sign bit 1 okay after that the magnitude bit for the presentation for the presentation of 6 we need three bit sign uh, magnitude bit is 110 1, so this is the 11 one uh, one and zero how can we calculate the one s complement this is the very easy process if you want to calculate the one s complement just simply invert all the bit zero invert with one and one will be change with zero and one will change with zero and the sign bit we keep as it you can change no problem but we will keep as it okay this is the one so this is the one s complement calculation of the one s complement okay if you want to calculate the two s complement it is very easy Just we need to add plus one with the help in one s complement. One plus one zero with carry one zero plus one. This is the one zero and one uh, sign bit we keep as it. This is used for the sign bit. Okay, sign bit, sign bit. Okay, na no? sign bit. Okay, so this is the two s complement. One zero one zero. So this is the method one. So this is the method one. But another one. the direct method is also there to calculate the ts complement with the help of them i will write the fsm how okay, -6 so the representation of the -6 in the sign magnitude representation is 1 so one we use for the sign sign bit actually this is the negative number na and then the what are the magnitude bit the magnitude bit is 1 1 and 0 how can we calculate the ts complement so here the listen carefully okay so please listen the carefully so we will copy the bit as it from the lsb side from lsb side we will copy as it bit as it okay zero zero will be copy as it zero okay but when when we will get the first one when when we will get the first one so we will uh, we will stop here okay we will stop here after that we will change one with zero and zero with one we will invert If I get zero, we'll keep as it. But if I if I if I I will get the first one, we will keep as it. Okay. After that, we'll invert one with change with zero and the sign bit we are keeping as it. This is the one. So this is the two s complement. Again, I am considering one general number. Okay, one general number which sign magnitude representation are given like that. Okay, one general number I am considering. One zero one zero zero. One zero. Okay. So how can we calculate the two s complement? I am going to calculate the two s complement directly. So how how we can? Okay. So if I write in the the side by side, it will be very uh, understandable. Okay. So I told like that. Firstly, I need to copy the bit to the from the right hand side as it. Okay. So from the right hand side, uh, sorry, from the left hand side, we will copy as it from the LSB side. Okay. So zero will be same. And one. When we'll get the first one, we'll stop here. Okay. After that, when we when we'll get the first one, we'll stop. After that, we'll change the bit. Zero with one and one with zero. One with zero and and zero with one. So zero will be change one. One will change uh, zero. Will be change one. One will be change zero. And zero will be change one. And sign bit will keep as it. Okay. So this is the two s complement. So this is the two s complement. Okay. So by the help of this way. I am writing the FSM. So actually, uh, so I am drawing. Uh, I am I am using the milli machine. Okay. 
so the here the milli machine i am using milli milli machine so for the detecting of the ts complement fsm i am using the milli machine how suppose uh, see here uh, there are the two state a state a and a state because of that we have only zero and one no zero will be change one one will change. this is the initial state okay so see how i am how i am drawing see so uh, so from the left hand side if i will get zero if i will get zero we will copy as it so in case of the fsm milli machine i am telling if i input zero output will be zero but when we will get the first one input is one means first one we will get we will copy as it okay after that we will change zero with one and one with zero zero with one if i will get zero we will change into one and if i will get one one will be change zero so that thing i am telling i hope you understand okay i hope you so this state is a state zero okay and this state is a state one okay again i am explaining no problem see in case of the milli machine at a state zero that is the initial state uh, i am representing state zero and b for one okay see if i give the input zero we will copy as it see zero if the we will give zero we will copy as it zero output is zero but if i give input one first time we will keep as it see here we will keep as it one output will be one and after that we will change if i give zero we will invert into one if i give one we will change into the zero in case of the milli machine you know if you give the input zero output will be zero input one output will be one and after that input zero output one input one output zero i hope you understand this machine okay now i am designing with the help of the flip flop so firstly i will draw the table okay so uh, so we need only one flop because of that we have a two state is there so for the two state is there uh, so this is the q and for input for purpose i am writing x okay this is the input this is the input and this is the present state so this is the 0 0 0 1 1 and 1 1 okay see see so this is the um, um, i am mean 0 for a this is the a state the present state na no? 0 for a and b for 1 so this is the b state and this is the b state okay and this is the input see how i am drawing so here i will write the q plus q plus means the next state i am writing here this is the next state okay next state how many if we are at a state a a state a means zero if we are a state a if i give the input zero then will be at same state means the zero that is the state a i am changing the color okay but if, if but if i apply input one we are changing the state if i apply input 1 we are changing the state b that is the b c at a state a if i give input 0 we are at same state but if i give the input 1 we are changing the state a state b 1 now at a state b if i give input 0 ya 1 but if i state b if i give if i i give i, I give the input 0 then we will be at, at same state b but if i give the input 1 also we will be at same state b means it it doesn't matter that you are giving the input 0 or 1 we will be at same state means the state 1 that is a b1 and 1 that is the state b and this is the b okay now if i get the uh, 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 i hope you already know the uh, next state equation of the d flip flop q plus well, q plus is equal to d so we will copy for flip flop input this is the flip flop the flip flop input so uh the flip flop in q plus was d 0 1 1 i hope you understand okay and in the last i will write the output output thing that is the output okay so output means at a state a if i give input 0 output will be 0 and a state a if i give input 1 output will so a state a a state this so this is the state a na at a state a if i give input 0 output will be 0 but if i give the input 1 state a output will be 1 okay after that as the state b a state b if i give the input 0 the output will be 1 so here output will be 1 but if i give at a state b if i give input 1 output will be 0 so that the output will be 
so so for the flip flop input i think the this is the truth table of the or gate if any one of the input is this input one this input one this input one sorry if any any one of the input is one then we will calculate means then i will write the equation the final equation okay so the final equation i am writing in term of the q and x x and q sorry q and x okay so finally i i will, I will design here the uh, I, i will design uh, so for q and x okay q and x so for the d input d input is this is the or, or gate or gate of q plus x okay and for output for output this is the function of q and x x is used for input okay so this is the xor operation because of that if any one of the input is one output will be one if both the input is one then output will be zero okay xor get i think you already know d flip flop is or get and this is the xor get so q xor with x okay q xor with x now i am drawing finally the circuit okay finally i am drawing here the circuit i hope you understand okay if you have uh, any problem just i uh, here i use uh, here here i wrote uh, i write firstly i write the fsm okay uh, then is this table with the help of this table i detect this sequence so finally i am uh, writing here the uh, the third circuit okay so this is the d flip flop okay this is the d flip flop d q and q bar i hope you know already and so this is the for d input this is the or gate okay this is the or gate so uh, i am writing the or gate one so this is the or gate and one for the input that is the x x is the input okay after that the output output is xor operation this is the xor operation so x x and this is the q so this is the xor operation this is the output so this is the complete circuit designing of the ps complement so firstly i detect here the fsm i hope you understand fsm detection of ps complement i use the milli machine and finally uh, here i explain this table and the final circuit is there so this is the ps complement fsm uh, i detect using the milli machine and finally i design with the help of the d flip flop input that is the this is the or gate and this is the xor gate i hope you understand okay if you, if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section thank you we'll meet in the next video